Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of the acquisition phase with the Cerex Software 5. In this tutorial, you will get to know the different image catalogs, including their functions, as well as the different functions in the page palette. We are already in the acquisition phase and have turned on all three options in the page palette, Tools, the Add Catalog function, and the Mode option. In this phase, only the Cut function is available in the Tool Palette. Since we haven't performed any scan yet, the tool is displayed as disabled. During the scan, any areas of interference, such as the tongue or cheek, are automatically detected by the algorithm and eliminated. Should you still want to remove additional scan data, you can use the Cut tool for this purpose. Below the list of image catalogs, you will see outlined which can be added. As we have selected the Biogeneric Individual Design Mode and a restoration in the lower jaw in the administration phase, three image catalogs are displayed at the lower edge of the screen. The lower jaw image catalog, which is marked in blue and therefore active, also displays a question mark. This indicates that this is a mandatory scan. Next to it, you find the upper jaw and the buckle bite image catalogs. Next, we go from top to bottom through the additional available image catalogs. In case of an implant restoration, you can add the gingiva mask image catalog for the lower and upper jaw. For example, if the scan procedure for the quadrant with the implant restoration has taken too long and the gingiva has collapsed after removal of the gingiva former. This might result in the emergence profile of the restoration not being adapted ideally to the real situation. In a situation like this, you position the gingiva former once again in the implant, remove it after 10 to 15 minutes, and scan only the area of the implant position and the adjacent teeth. The corresponding gingiva mask image catalog can then be displayed during the editing of the design so that the emergence profile can be outlined optimally. The BioCopy lower and upper jaw image catalogs will be added automatically as soon as the design mode, Biogeneric Copy, has been selected in the administration phase. These image catalogs are used for scanning the morphology of the tooth to be replaced before the preparation or extraction. The Cerex software has the capability of transferring the design to the new restoration. Below that, we find the scan body lower and upper jaw image catalogs. In the case of an implant restoration, the corresponding image catalog is added automatically to the list of image catalogs to be scanned, and it is marked as mandatory. In this catalog, the implant with the positioned scan body and the adjacent teeth are scanned. In the last window, Mode, you can select between the intraoral and extraoral scan approach. Intraoral should be turned on for all intraoral scans. Extraoral is used for model scans. Next, we demonstrate how you can add or remove an image catalog. As an example, we click the BioCopy lower catalog. The activated catalog is now displayed next to the default image catalogs. To delete this again, we click once more the option in the window under Add Catalog. Should the catalog already include a scan, the scan must be deleted before the image catalog can be turned off again. Next, we look at our step menu and the associated functions. During the scan phase, we can switch between the video picture and the scan steps. Currently, we are in the scan step, as indicated by the blue marking of the step. For demonstration purposes, we select the video picture option. The Scanner View window displays the area that will be scanned by the Prime Scan. Below, we can choose between the Photo or Video options. To take a photo, we activate the Photo button or use the Foot Control. This scan, for example, can be used for case documentation and can be downloaded for this purpose. Or it can be used for illustration and communication purposes with the patient. By tapping the button to the right, you can record a video. The procedure for starting or ending a video is the same. 
After successful acquisition, all images or videos can be accessed by tapping the button to the right. Since we have not taken a picture or video, a small zero is displayed in this field. The media files are retrieved by tapping the button. At this point, we go back to the scan step, where all the scans for the three image catalogs were already performed. Finally, we are going to demonstrate how you can copy or move the 3D data from one image catalog to another one. To do this, we activate the image catalog BioCopy Lower, for example, and drag and drop the lower jaw image catalog to the newly added image catalog. As a result, both a red and a green button are displayed at the lower edge of the screen. Depending on whether you want to copy the image catalog or completely move the 3D data, you can make the corresponding choice here. In our case, we will move the data so that the image catalog won't display any scan data anymore. To again activate the image catalog lower jaw, we simply tap on it and turn on our prime scan afterwards. When entering the acquisition phase, the scanner is in sleep mode until it is removed from the cradle and thus activated. When the scanner is put back after the scan, it automatically goes into sleep mode again. If you actively turn off the scanner via the foot control or software, it must also be turned on again the same way. You can move between the image catalogs either by tapping the appropriate catalog on your touch screen or by pushing the foot control twice. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with CEREC.